Hello, this is Amber with Labs and Sync to Row and Aries. This is your career and money reading for September 2017. Now, you didn't have any cards fall out of the deck today, so we're going to stick with your intuitive read. Your oracle card is talk to your angels instead of worrying. Ask for divine guidance. What I get from that is you're definitely going through some changes when it comes to your career or money, okay? You may have lost a little hope and you need to have hope because when I see that card, it lets me know that the angels, your spirit guides are guiding you and you just need to walk the path. With, the, with balance, which is the justice, this is about being rewarded for your efforts. So you have to put in efforts in order to get the things that you need, okay? It's not going to be handed to you. That's actually what I'm hearing. Um, so things are being balanced out for those of you who are working hard. It will come to you, okay? But there is going to be separation from things, maybe money, maybe people that you were used to being around okay but it's okay to split with those people or separate from those people because you're creating balance in your life as far as your career and your money goes okay there may also be some people who are around you for money okay that's what i'm hearing for someone or some people and that's why that separation is coming about you have two cards at the end here and this is the third eye chakra and mental conflict which is the two of swords and this is about you taking time to yourself it's like you're taking a break from things so you can figure out what's best for you your career your money you as a person not necessarily in a relationship with another person because that would be a, a relationship or a singles reading okay but it's more about you uh, taking a break to get your mind in order listen to your inner self or your intuition about what it is that you need when it comes to uh, tangible things in your life that's what I'm hearing for you okay so spirit what do you have for Aries as far as career and money goes in September 2017. Ace of Cups. That means that something is coming into you. Something that you love. There's an offer from a job or a position that you are going to love. Maybe there is a, 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 sorry, a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces in the mix. Okay, That is going to give you some information um, as far as what you need. Also, it could be that they uh, want something from you and you need to be careful from of that person. Um, hmm, okay, so you have the Page of Wands, the King of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, okay, Eight of pentacles eight of swords lots of eights two eights next to each other and i'm hearing to stop and tell you about eight the number eight is about abundance and power okay gaining power for yourself it's important for me to tell that to you for some reason it's about uh make seeking goals uh achieving goals um to become better or become stronger in uh, your career or money because that's what this is about two of cups the emperor and the six of swords on the bottom of the deck you have the two of wands now the two of wands being at the bottom of the deck tells me that you have new ideas or new plans new things are happening okay but it we this the two of wands is in the idea phase meaning that you have this optimism or you have this idea and now you're putting it on paper you haven't quite gotten into the action part of it yet okay and this is about the chariot this is about you continuing forward towards victory there's victory here but you have to make the next steps do not be bonded by things in the future or things that you're used to drinking partying spending time with friends that don't support your future it's time to let those things go and move forward and with this card is telling me that it's going to be hard and they're going to oppose you because they want you around or they want your energy they just want you there okay 
and I'm I actually was focused on the Knight of Cups when I said that and I feel like this is that person this water energy Cancer Scorpio or Pisces it's like they don't understand or they only see for themselves they feel like you're neglecting them or something but you have a path in mind for yourself okay so with the Eight of Swords, this is a trapped energy, okay? I feel like uh, you feel trapped by the past or maybe there's something that happened in your past that's causing you to not be able to grow that much in your career or money sector in your life. And you feel fearful of the future because of that. You feel isolated from all the things that are happening or could happen around you. And that's why it's important for you to seek guidance from your angels and remain balanced, okay? So with the Page of Wands, you're starting something new. You have a new passion about something. It could be a new job or a new career, but I really don't feel that as much. I feel like you have a new epiphany of something that you want to do. You're more free spirited and enthusiastic about your future. So you're moving forward on that, not even knowing what's happening, but you just feel really good about it. Okay. The King of Swords, you may be dealing with a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. But I really feel that's you cutting through the truth. So even though you have that optimism, you're not going going blindly, which is beautiful for you, Aries. You are very clear thinking about what you need, okay? And you will not be manipulated along the way. And I feel as though with the Five of Pentacles, it does feel like you are by yourself. Like you're abandoning, abandoning everyone or everyone is abandoning you because they don't understand the path that you're going on. They don't understand what it is that you're trying to do. And with that justice sitting there, it's all about you creating balance or trying to get balance or trying to get what's due to you or what's owed to you and that's why you're moving um, down this different path or this different way so you're working hard on something new or you're working hard on your new endeavors your new passions of what you want you're focused very focused on what you're doing okay you're not going to let the past trap you you're very clear on your thinking and you're trying to figure out how to get through this okay but i do see that you take a rest i feel like something happens and it makes you feel like you're not going to get anywhere or you feel abandoned and you take a break okay you take a break from this because you just don't feel like there's a future you don't feel like there is a a path for you you feel you just feel like you're laying your swords down you're not working you're just you may actually spend more time with your friends during this time or uh, take a break I'm hearing like a fallback like a brief fallback and that's what the heartache and loss is about so it feels like you're separated and that's why you probably go back to that energy or go back to feeling trapped in thoughts thinking that you won't be able to move forward and this is where you need that guidance you need that guidance from your uh, from higher ups <laughs> spirit divine energy guardian angels whatever you believe in God okay and to help you bring yourself back together okay after falling back it's okay the Two of Cups tells me that you come together back with yourself, maybe even back with uh, someone you love. Maybe there is a relationship in your life that is going to help you uh, move forward as far as a partner goes, okay? Move forward in your career or money to help you better yourself because you are willing to do the work. I feel like you need the path. That's the thing. Okay? So they're going to help you stay on your path so you can continue to work because you have the world in your hands. You can do anything that you want. So you have to keep yourself motivated. This person may be a uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Or this may be this uh, water energy Okay, as well pushing you. Um, even the fact if they tell, they're telling you you can't do it, it still pushes you in a way to move forward. So with the Emperor, I feel like you're creating foundations and rules and structures for yourself so you don't get trapped into these thoughts. If you're not doing that, that's something that you should do, okay? Maybe create a budget. 
maybe you uh, need to create a budget because you're trapped in old thoughts or old repetitions of spending too much money okay it's like you're working very hard on that money okay and you're spending it just as fast as, as you're making it and that's something that you need to balance okay because it feels like you don't have money you do have money you spend the money that's what I'm getting okay so you're moving forward I feel like after this rest after coming together after finding someone that can help you or assist you you move forward okay you move forward listening to your intuition listening on to what's best for you getting help when you were stuck in an energy um, of not knowing where to go okay so it could be spirit helping you it could be spirit putting someone else into your life to help you on many levels this could be um, a love partner as well that just happens to be the person that helps you along the way so it gives me that soulmate twin flame type of feeling if that's a person uh, if that is that person or it could just be someone helping you move forward okay yes Okay, so I'm going to end the reading there. If this resonated with you and you would like to uh, have the extended version of this reading, click the um, description box below. If you would like a private reading, I'll be more than happy to do that for you as well. That link is in the description box below. If you would like to donate to me, that link is in the description box below. Thank you very much in advance. And I love you very much. I will see you next month. Love and light.